Hey guys, Mo Long here, and I'm going to take a look at running Plasma Big Screen on the Raspberry Pi. This is a pretty cool Linux distro, which is designed to deliver a home entertainment as well as smart home experience to the Raspberry Pi 4. And Plasma Big Screen is built with a bunch of different open source apps, including Plasma Big Screen, Mycroft AI, and LibCEC. And it's all running on a modified version of KDE Neon. So it's really easy to, to pull up pretty much anything that you want to on the Raspberry Pi 4. And what makes this really cool is that there's actually a launcher intended for use with a 10-foot interface. So this is designed for a Raspberry Pi that's hooked up to a TV that you're watching from your couch or a monitor that's kind of far away, or even a projector, for instance. It also includes, like I mentioned, Mycroft, which is a really cool free open source smart voice assistant and you even have CEC for being able to use your remote to control your TV and your Pi. There are a ton of different apps that you can download. So it's overall just a really cool project and I think it's one of the better ways to utilize the Raspberry Pi 4. So the first thing that we're going to do is download Plasma Big Screen. Now that I've downloaded the Big Screen image, what we're going to do is mount that to a micro SD card using Etcher. So I'm going to go ahead and launch Etcher. We're going to select our image. We're going to make sure that our micro SD card is selected. So wait for this image to finish mounting. And then pop it in your Pi and power it on. Okay, here we are in big screen plasma. This almost reminds me of my Android TV streaming device, the NVIDIA Shield TV in its layout. And it's pretty easy to navigate. And I'm just using a wireless mini keyboard. And this looks great blown up on my projector screen, as well as on my TV. By default, you'll see a few different apps, including YouTube, Wikidata, SoundCloud, BitChute. The Aura Browser. And you'll even find some games like Extreme Tuck Racer, Tux Racer, GLTron, and K Blocks. Once you get connected, you'll be prompted to log into Mycroft. And you can do this from any PC that's on the same network as your Raspberry Pi. 
So switch over to a different computer, go to home.mycroft.ai, and you're going to have to add this as a device using the pairing code that pops up. Well, there are a lot of different apps that come pre-installed, you can always install your own. And the way you do that is from the home screen going to Mycroft Skill Installer. And then you can scroll through the different skills that are available. So let's go ahead and install on the Unsplash wallpaper skin. By default, there are, are a number of different apps pre-installed, and you can see how easy it is to install additional skills. But something that's kind of cool is we actually have access to the command line. So if we pull that up, what we're able to do is go ahead and install various apps that run on Raspberry Pi and Linux distros. And we can even perform manual updates if we want. Everybody that you meet has an original point of view. <laughs> and I say, hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. If you could learn to work and play and get along with each other. You got to listen to your heart, listen to the beat, listen to the rhythm, the rhythm of the street.
よかっちゃん泣いてるだろこれ以上はそうはいるじゃないの<笑>無個性なくせにヒーロー気取りかでっけ After installing Kodi via the command line, I've even got it here in my applications list. So even though the number of apps that you can install via the Mycroft skill installer list is pretty s limited, there are a bunch of different apps that you're able to install just through the command line. And I think this is a really cool distro. It would be nice if there were some kind of app store where you're you could easily install more Raspberry Pi applications. But I think using the command line is a great workaround for that. And this is a really neat fusion of a smart home hub using Mycroft, as well as a, an entertainment center intended for use on a big screen. Because it really just looks lovely and polished, and even rivals a lot of Android TV boxes that I've used. So, there you have it. This is Plasma Big Screen, and I'm a huge fan. I'm definitely going to keep this around on my Raspberry Pi 4, because I think it's one of the better distros to make use of Raspberry Pi hardware. Thanks for watching, guys.